Gaza. And we're spurred on. It's a Tottenham fan channel, your top legend, absolute man. Thanks so much for talking to us. We've actually asked our followers, got a load of followers, what they would ask you if they could ask you anything. And the main question that came out was, how exactly did you feel when you stuck it in the top corner at Wembley against Arsenal in the semi-final of the Cup in 91? Um, no, it was good because, uh, I mean, it's a derby, obviously, and... Uh you know, I heard that made the suits ready and I just come back from an injury and then David Seaman was in goal, I'd love to have scored one past him. Um, but, you know, I, like I said, I remember when the ball came up and said just hit it, but it was good because you behind the goal and imagine all the signs, all the fans were giving it, said, oh, every sign you could think of and then I stick one up there and it was just great. You know, it was a great feeling afterwards and shame, unfortunately, my final didn't last as long, you know, 12 minutes, but the feeling there, score Wembley whether for anybody, you know. And you single-handedly pretty much got us to that final anyway, so yeah, you did have the job yourself. Yeah, I mean, I set up the first goal and then one against a way to Blackpool. And then, you know, I remember playing 12 games of squash before the quarter-final um, of the sixth round, yeah. But that, that quarter-final, I yeah, got 12 injections from me. Yeah, I was numb. So, like, like with five minutes left, the numbness went away and I just stood the halfway line. Keep on side and offside. And then I got the operation and I had to get fit within four, me four weeks. It takes six weeks. And I got fit in four weeks. Do you think the medical setup was a bit second rate at Tottenham it at that time? It was shambolic. Was it really? 